opportunity to share some final words with each of you. As we sit here today, let us not only look forward to the journey that still lies ahead, but also take time to re reflect on the journey that got you here today. When each of you came to the Chef's Academy, you came not knowing many, if any, of the people sitting around you today. You all had different backgrounds, different interests, but on the first day you were united with one common passion and thought and to finally pursue the dreams that you had been building in your hearts that will lead you to a different path in life. Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. That courage exemplifies this class. Every one of you have the courage to pursue your dreams. I can see in your eyes the courage that you have to still want to make a difference as you move, move on and a difference in your own lives, a difference in your lives of your families, and a difference in the lives of your friends. Speaking of friends, who can forget the friendships you've made along the way? Some will last a lifetime, and some will last no longer than tomorrow. But either way, it's okay, because all of us will forever be impacted by each other. You all had to confront your doubts, setbacks, and unknowns. And you made it. You made a dream happen and a goal come to pass. But each of you did not do this alone. So I would like each of you to have the opportunity to share a special yellow daisy with the person or persons that supported you on your journey. This journey does not end today, but only just begins. At this time, graduates, you are dismissed to share your daisy with the person that helped change your life. I would like to introduce Chef Brandon Hamilton, who will now lead us in the Culinary and Code. As a proud member of the American Colony Federation, I pledge to share my professional knowledge and skill with all culinarians. I will place honor, fairness, cooperation, and consideration first when dealing with my colleagues. I will keep all comments professional and respectful when dealing with my colleagues. I will protect all members from the use of unfair means, unnecessary risks, and unethical behavior when used against them for another personal gain. I will support the success, growth, and future of my colleagues and this great federation. Thank you. You may be seated. Chef Tony Hanslitz will now present Val Victorian. It's uh, my pleasure to announce Val Victorian. Um, 3.96 point grade average goes to Jamie Majeswick. Majeswick. I'm going to thank my husband and my family and the chefs um, for supporting me. And I'm so excited to be here. We'll begin with guest speaker, Chef Glenn Brown. Hello, friends. Today I want to talk to you about leadership, but before I start with leadership, I want to read again uh, what's on the front of your uh, uh, commencement program. It says, when it comes to the future, there are three kinds of people. Those who let it happen, those who make it happen, and those who wonder what happened. All right? Today is a culmination of an 18 month journey that you started. And that journey says that you are one of those first two individuals. You are one that makes it happen and you never worry about or stand around to wonder what happened. That means your success is gonna be based on your leadership and then your management. In most situations, you're going to have to do both. For me, more than anything, a leader is a person uh, that, that inspires. And all of you that I see sitting here, uh, starting your journey, you have inspired me. And so you are leaders. And remember the symbolism. In the kitchen, culinarians, we say what? 
I can't hear you. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. At this time, I would like to introduce our second guest speaker, Jokima Miller. Good morning, graduates, parents, family, and friends, staff, and faculty. It is a great honor to be able to speak to you all today. To get started, however, I do need your help. Who remembers the rhyme about Jack and Jill? A nursery rhyme, in its basic form, teaches children a number of lessons that oftentimes remain with us for a lifetime. Here it is almost, what, 20, 30, 40 years for some of us, learning those rhymes, and most of us can still recite them. Sesame Street, Electric Company, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Lamb Chop, The Reading Rainbow, Dora the Explorer, and even Barney. These programs have helped raise today's adults. For many years, people have proclaimed that most of what they know today, they learned in kindergarten. You know, how to share, how to get along with others, to clean up behind yourself, take a nap because rest is important. Basic rhymes, basic programs, and basic classes have yielded more than basic results. So back to the basics represents simplicity. Here are some of those basics that you may have learned along your educational journey. Have a desire to please. This is the service industry. Be passionate. Call the guest by name. Say please and thank you. Wash your hands so you don't kill anyone. <laughs> Listen carefully to the guest and to your employees. Train yourself to smile. Invite the guest to return. If you promise, deliver. Present yourself professionally. Andrew C. Brownlee, Jr. Barbecue. Benjamin P. Gibson, Hospitality and Restaurant Management, Honors Graduate, Hampton in Northeast Castleton. Lauren J. Strother, Pastry Arts, Highest Honors Graduate, Ocean Prime. Tasha M. Payne, Culinary Arts, St. Vincent Hospital and Healthcare Center. Charles A. Lyle, Culinary Arts, Wiseman Brewing Company. 